This is the finger and hand exercise video. Whether you're in kinder, first, second, or a newcomer in the upper grades, these exercises are really helpful to get some strength in your hands and also some coordination. So the first thing that we usually do is our finger push-ups, where we make circles with our thumb and each of the fingers. And our goal is to not only touch the right finger, so this is first finger, but when we push down, we don't want any of our knuckles to collapse. So a lot of the kids at school I'm seeing um, have some double jointedness, which is pretty common, especially in this base joint. But the goal is, is to do a little push up and keep those circles perfectly round, not letting any of the knuckles collapse. So if you start pushing and one of them collapses, lighten up a little bit and keep the circle. So eventually the pressure will build strength so that the knuckles won't collapse as much, okay? So usually to start with first finger, you want to push up, push up, push up, and have your um, child make sure they're looking at their circles so that they can keep them perfectly round, okay? And then we'll do the same thing for second finger, push up, push up, push up, and then third finger, ring finger. This one's a little bit tricky. Um, I'll show you in the next uh, exercise that third finger is a little bit hard to coordinate. So you might have trouble not letting it pancake or flatten out. So push up, push up, push up. And then finally, pinky. And sometimes I say pinky pops instead. Pinky pop, pinky pop, pinky pop. Okay. And have them shake out and relax quite a bit in between these because you, you can feel it. If you do it with them, you can feel it um, in the back of your hand in the, in the muscle area there. Um, the other one that we do is just kind of a silly thing is moose head and it's to put their hands behind their head so they can't see it. So I'll, I'll tell them to wiggle one, wiggle two, wiggle three, and wiggle four. And for some of them, it's hard to just keep all their fingers up. They want to do one at a time. Um, but try to have them just relax like they're waving and do one finger at a time. That's a real easy one. And then just make sure they're constantly shaking it out and relaxing, rolling their shoulders, that kind of thing, so they stay relaxed. Um, the other one is to help not only remember which um, finger is which number, because we use different numbers in um, violin hand. So I call this bird egg, robin eggs, something. It's where they shake out their hands. And usually, like, sitting crisscross on the floor is probably easiest to do, that, do this exercise. So they shake their hands out and pretend that they're picking up um, baby bird eggs that have fallen to the nest, but they haven't broken yet. So they have to be real gentle and hold the eggs in their hands without squeezing, okay? Um, they keep their fists kind of open and soft. So in order to do um, the fingers, what I'll do is uh, say, show me one, and they get their index fingers out. Okay, and it's important that they rest on their knees so they have a little bit of contact and support. So I'll say, show me one, put them back, show me two, put them back. It's the only legal way for the middle finger to come out. Um, show me three is going to be really hard for some of your kiddos. So I tell them that there's a cheat to get in ring finger out by itself. So sometimes we'll skip that one and just go straight to pinky because that one's easy to get out. Okay. So we'll do pinky, and then the cheat for the third finger is to get ring finger out along with pinky, and then pushing down on your knee with the ring finger and tucking pinky back into the hand, okay? So that way they can at least um, understand the sensation of having the ring finger out by itself. So, and they can do this a few times. If they start to clench or squeeze, then just shake it out, start over, pick up your bird eggs, put them on your knees. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is getting both hands to go at the same time. Sometimes that's difficult. The dominant hand tends to do it no problem. Um, but if they're not doing both hands at once, you can do one at a time or just look, look at your dominant hand or um, if it's left or right. And then you can look at the other hand and make sure it's doing the same thing. So show me one, show me two, show me three. Show me four, and then if three is having a hard time, 
put out pinky, put out three, put pinky back, and there you go. And those are the simple finger exercises and hand exercises that we do.